the Iron Trader. It is Sunday night. So as usual, we are going to review crude oil here and natural gas. Now, I had a post in the uh, uh, chat room there from Alex, and he wanted me to briefly go over uh, scalping. Uh, so that's exactly what we're going to do. So we will have the crude oil video first, uh, natural gas video, and then we'll go uh, a quick look here on how to scalp. This video is for information purposes only, not a recommendation to buy, sell any stock, come on to ETF. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. All right, here we have crude oil, your daily chart. Now, what we have here uh, Friday, just big that up a little bit here, is we had a higher low and a higher high, which is always good. But if you look at it, what did it close? Right below that 8 SMA, okay? So now the key is, is it needs to close above. So if we can get above this uh, key uh, 8 SMA here at 90.55, then what we wanna do is we wanna look to the top of this candle here, okay? So that's sitting at 90.98, and then we have 91.07, and then we have 91.33, which is Friday's high, and then we come right on here, um, we look at uh, the retest here at 92.43, uh, okay? So just follow these candles. If you can close above this 8 SMA here, follow these candles all the way up to the retest. Now, let's just look if we can break above that retest. So if you can close above that 92.43, then we come to this candle here. You're looking at 92.87 here. You have uh, 93.31. 93 uh, 64 and then your big retest up here is 93 74 now a lot of times what it'll do it'll blast right on up and get to like z 94 94 you know uh 05 or whatever but it needs to close that's the key above the 93 74 but it all hinges right on this price channel sitting at 92 43 now we'll look on a weekly here if we can break this key 93 74 and close above then i will show you exactly where it should be going. Okay, what we wanna look here though is, I just wanna point out here, when you look at this pattern right here, okay, you have a nice big red candle here, and this could possibly, if you look at this, this could be a bear flag. So just keep that in mind. Not saying that it is, but it, it could be, okay? Just like it was here, see this? We had that bear flag and then boom, all the way on down. Because this here couldn't get through that 21 day, this one might not get through that 8 SMA here. So always keep that in mind. So on the downside, what you want to do is look at Friday's low. Okay, you're looking at uh, 89.31 here. Then we look at this candle here, 88.97. And then we look at the candle right here, which is basically 88.37. Uh, uh, and then the top of this candle right here, you're sitting at uh, 88.07. Now, right below that here, we have your... 21 day sitting at 87.16. These are all gonna be your key support levels. Always look at this breakout candle here because usually what it does, it wants to come down and retest that price. Now, again, and then watch this key 21 day. Now, again, if that is lost, that 87.16 is lost here, then we just follow these candles here all the way down. So what you wanna do here is you look at 86.71 here. We look here at uh, 86, uh, uh, 15. And then what we want to do is we want to look here. Okay, you're looking at uh, 8502. And then we want to look at this candle here at 8489 because this was actually the breakout candle here. Same way with this one here as it broke on out. So this is going to be key uh, 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 support level here. Then if that's lost, look to the top of this candle here, 8369, the bottom of this candle right here, you're looking at 8346. And then we have basically 83 is your 50 SMA. But just keep in mind this possible, okay, possible bear flag if you cannot close back above. Now, again, if you can close it back above here and you head for 92.43, well, then that negates that bear pattern, okay? But again, if this pattern comes down and it sells down and it closes below this candle here, well, then that's a bear flag. Very, very simple. Now, here on your RSI, well, you know, we had a big, nice, you know, really big overbought conditions here. It came on down here, but now you're kind of like flat line here. So we got to see how this is all going to shake out. Is it going to go all the way down again? Is it going to put a negative divergence here like we had here? So it's going to take a little time. Now on your, your MACD here, you're basically kind of pinned right together here. So you got to be very, very careful. If this green line crosses that red line like it did here, okay, this is what you get. 
right there. So just be very, very careful. Now I posted there last Friday a seasonality chart here. So seasonality wise, you should be good to the end of September here. Um, and then it's usually a sell and a short, but we got to see this year is a little bit different here because you had the volunteer cuts from OPEC. Saudi Arabia is doing an extra million barrels. Uh, uh, Russia, they're going to cut 300,000 barrels here. And now Russia is banning gas and uh, natural gas and, and distillates and diesel and all this kind of stuff here. So it could get pretty wet and wild. All right, let's take a look here on a uh, weekly and a monthly. All right, here on your monthly, well, we still got time left. But the key thing I want to point out to you here is this 86.98, okay? Very, very key uh, support level here on a closing basis, okay? It was just like on the daily chart here, that 20, that uh, um, the uh, 21 day there. This is very, very uh, a key level here. Now, here on your weekly chart, well, we just got to take a look here. So far right now, you're very, very bullish. See, your eight day is above your 21, your 50 day, and now above your hondo, okay? So if as long as this holds, just like it did here, then it's just, this is a pullback and it's going to go higher, okay? But we don't know that yet. So always watch, okay, you got that 8631, okay? And then you have your 8606. That's going to be your key support level here on a closing basis for the week. Now, again, if that's lost, then we have your a 7842 uh, uh, here, and then your 7846. These are pretty much joined together right here. This is going to be your key support level. Then if that's lost, then we've got to retest 6927, just like you did all right here. And then you could come all the way down to the bottom of this candle here, but 63, 64, but the market would have to get pretty hammered to come all the way on down. I'm not saying it can't do it, but it would have to just you know, really get hammered to do that. So just watch this key 8 SMA here and 100 SMA here on the downside. Now, on the upside, well, let's take a look here. All right, here's that candle I'm always talking about here. It is 93.74, okay? Now, again, if you can close above that, then look to the top of this candle here. It's 95.05, the top of this candle here, 95.76, and then the top of that candle there is 97.66, okay? So take that level right there. That's the next level. See where the price channel comes in here? That's the next level. Now, a close above that. Then we come to this candle here. You're looking at 199. You're looking at here, uh, 101.88. See where the price channel is right here? That's the next level, okay? Then again, if you can get above that, then we come to this level here. You're looking at 105.05. And then we have uh, 111.45. And then we can come all the way up to here to 114. That's the next level here. And then again, then you have a level up here, which is basically 123.68, and then you retest at 130.05. Now, I'm not saying it's going there, but how you want to trade is just level to level. You know, don't have, ever assume, oh, it's going to go over here. It's going right there. We don't know that. This could just fall right off the, off the map there on Monday, okay? So level to level on the upside. On the downside, the same thing. Watch the 8 SMA. Watch this 100 SMA. If that's lost, then your target is right here, 78.42, 78.46. That's your target right there. Okay, let's take a look here at the old natural gas. Okay, natural gas, your daily and your weekly chart. Now, here on your uh, uh, weekly here, well, you're really uh, pretty good shape here, okay? Right now, you're sitting at uh, 265, uh, uh, 65. That's your... Uh, key resistance level here, and if it goes lower, right there, 257.278, uh, uh, okay? So just watch these key, the 21-day and your 8 SMA. Now, price channels still intact here. If you look at the channels, you're going to 3.018, 2.136. You can see how the price channel is riding up here, so don't get bearish here. Just scalp it until we can see what's going on. If you can break above this price channel here, then you want to look at this nice 50 SMA sitting at uh, 330. And then we have your 200 day rate above that sitting at 3.76. So you could have a nice big run. And then above that, look at that, 4.78 here. You could really, really rally on up here. Just always remember where this is right now, this basing pattern here that's been going on for months. Look when this thing blasts off where this thing can go all the way up to there. Okay, now you're coming into that season. All right, let's take a look here on a daily. Well, the daily is just a quick recap here, okay? You take this candle here, 2.45, 2.42. That was your really nice double bottom. Ran right on up here. See this candle? 
this candle, double top, that's when it tells you to sell. Then you have another uh, a stick candle here. That's a tweezer top. Boom, guaranteed she's selling off. Okay, so then what you do is you look at here, this 100-day, it held it really, really nice. Now, if you look at this, this is a nice series of higher lows, okay? Very, very nice here. So we got to see where this is all going to push up here. So what we really want to do here is just look at the top of this candle right here. This is basically sitting at 2.66. I'm pointing this out. If you can close above, then we come to this 8 SMA here, 2.697, and then we just keep riding it all the way on up. So then you have 2.736 here. You have 2.745, okay, 2.759 here. And then what we do is you just follow the candles up, 2.824, and then there's your 2.872. Now, again, you're going to run into some really big time resistance with this 200-day. See, sitting at 2.84. So if this rallies up towards this price channel, that might be a selling point, selling right into that 200-day, and then she'll pull back again. The price needs to close above this, then you got open air. You can go right and up. But your big retest up here is sitting right here at that 3.018. Basically, this candle here is the key one, 3.027. Then you can go higher. So if this rallies here, just watch that 200 at 2.84. Now, on the downside here, well, you know, you want to watch uh, Friday's candle here. You're looking at 2.60 here. Okay, you're looking at 2.59. Then we come down here to your 2.54. And then we have here is sitting at 2.5, okay? But right here, this 200-day is going to be very, very critical because right now with this series of higher lows, that's bullish. If you lose that and it comes on down, then that negates that pattern, and then she, she can come down lower. Okay, I tell you what to do. We're going to take a look here now on the hourly and a four-hour chart, but I'm also going to introduce you there how to easy way to scalp on that time. Okay, here we have your natty gas, your hourly, and your four-hour chart. Now, here's a way that you want to always look is when you build your charts here, I use an 8, a 21, a 50, a 100-day, and a 200-day SMA. Those are your key support and resistance levels. But you always want to see this blue line. This is a price channel. Put those on your chart. Very easy to see then, okay? So let me give you a good example on how you want to scalp this, okay? So right now, when you see this come down to 2.59, okay, you never want to buy it on the first run up because it's always going to pull back. So what you do is you watch that 2.59, and then you see this 2.60. That's this candle here, okay? Where it comes down there and it puts in a higher low, boom. That's where you take the trade. That's where you scalp it, okay? And then you ride this right on up here. The first thing you look at is 2.67, and then you look at your retest at 2.68, okay? Now, if it can't get through that 2.67, that's your selling opportunity right there. Now, if you can see where it's moving right back up, then you take it to the price channel at 2.68, and then you take a little bit off the table, okay? If it keeps on running, then you have uh, uh, shares that you can run to the 2.70, okay? So that's going to be, but that's how you scalp it. You you watch the low, and then you wait for it to run. Just be The key is patience here. And then it's always going to pull down. And if it puts in a higher low, or even if it puts in a lower low, but it puts in a red dog, which is basically a lower low, and it comes up higher, that is your buying opportunity for it to run right on high. Okay. Now, that's on the bottom. Now, say for you want to, I want to short this. Okay. Well, then what we do here is we look here for these double top uh, uh, situations like this. Okay, you see where this all ran up here. Now you have a real nice uh, at 2.865. Came right on down here, and then you wait for that run up again, and you see this candle right here at 2.86, a lower high. That tells me right there, that is your scalp. That's where you buy it, okay? As soon as it starts coming on down, even you don't have to buy it. You're not going to get the top at 2.86, but you buy it at 2.84, 2.85, and then you ride it all the way down to this series this area right here. When you see this lower high situation, that is your scalp time to take it all the way down. When it gets down in this area here and you can see where just a sideways action, boom, dump it. Sell that short, okay? Don't worry about, hey, I gotta take a long right away, okay? So now look at this, how this rallied right on up here. Then you wait 
till it comes out again. Okay, well, you put in a low right here. Okay, this is that sitting at that 2.6. Let it rally up. Okay, no problem. Let it rally up. Comes all the way down, and then we put in this candle right here, sitting at 2.59. Now, that's a lower low. See, that's a lower low, but it's still a double bottom. That's your buying opportunity to go higher. Okay, and then what you do is you watch all these key resistant levels here, and those are your selling points. Now, you're never going to buy the bottom. You're never going to sell the top. That's all crazy. All you care about is that meat in the middle, okay? If you start off, you know, buying and selling and taking that meat in the middle on Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday, by the time comes to Friday, you'd be surprised how big that meat is going to be here. That's a pile of cash sitting for you on Friday, okay? So just remember that here. Always use the price channels here on your chart. And when you see a higher low, that's your time to go long. Well, if you're going to say you want to short it, when you see the high, and then you see a lower high, that's the time you want to short it down. Now, again, for scalping here, um, like if you're on a, a daily, you really want to use like a tick chart or a one minute or four hour chart. Depends on how good you are. But if you want to stretch it out a little bit and make the trade out a little bit longer, use a one hour and a four hour works great. Okay, I'll have more for you on the crude and the old natty gas there before eight o'clock tomorrow morning on Monday. And then we'll get you all started. And thanks for watching.